Hey guys, it's Darren with East Woodland Survival. We're starting a series today on knots, and today we're going to be talking about the bowling knot. It's a very simple knot to tie, and it's very useful in a lot of situations. It kind of forms a loop at the end of a line. It does not bind up very easily, and it's simple to tie and untie. The great thing about this knot is if I put this under a lot of tension, a lot of times knots will bind up you can never get them untied. Well, you can pretty much put a lot of tension on this rope and still untie this knot. Alright, the bowline is a strong knot. Uh, it retains about 40 to 65 percent of the rope strength. I've heard about 40 percent from some folks and I've heard as much as 65 percent from others. I really don't know. Uh, there's some controversy as to the strength of the knot. And in search and rescue training, they taught us uh, not to be using this knot for climbing at all. And um, personally, I've used this knot in caving and climbing over and over and over again and have never had a problem with it. Uh, so it's just kind of up to you whether you uh, want to use this knot in uh, climbing or not. Uh, uses include, you can tie off boats, uh, hanging a hammock. Uh, tying up animals with it. Good for all around tying in camp. You can use a loop as a slip knot. You know, just, just kind of bring it back on itself. Creating a slip knot. You can actually tie two of these bowlines together to form a pretty secure uh, way to put the rope together. And you want to just do that by starting your bowline. I want to catch my rope like so. It's a pretty secure way to tie your, your ropes together. So let us walk you through on how to tie this. Is you've got a running end on a rope and you have the standing end which is usually the, the line that's the longest and you're going to have the tying end. So basically we're going to come in with this short end of the rope and we're just going to form a little loop and I always tell folks that looks like a little fish or something and the short line should go over the top of the long line as such you just want to kind of pinch this knot just back here in the little bow that you made then we're going to take the end and we're going to run it up through the bottom of our rope, just like so, run it up through the bottom. We're going to take this and we're going to run behind our other uh, standing line, the longer line. Right now it kind of looks like a pretzel. And then you're going to kind of pull this right down, right next to it, and pull. And that forms the bowline. Pretty simple knot. If it looks like that or it's side by side, you can see these two ropes are side by side, and it just kind of forms over the top of this, you've got a good bowline. I'll show that to you one more time. Standing in, going this way, short in, we're going to take, flip this over. Like so. Form our loop. Remember it goes over the top. I'm going to take our line, put it up through our loop, just like so. We're going to take this end behind the standing rope, and it's going to follow right back down through our little hole that we made, our little loop. And we're going to tighten that up. And that is the bowling. But the thing is, is I can actually put some pretty good pressure on this thing. And just really torque it up. And I know I've got a lot of pressure on it right there. And in a lot of knots, it makes it really difficult to untie. You can see it actually tighten that knot up pretty good. But all I have to do is come in, pull the back of this knot... And then 
I've untied my rope. Now, if you guys have a smartphone, like an Apple or something, you can kind of come in. There's a free app that you can get from Columbia. That's really good in uh, learning to tie different knots. Uh, it has kind of a little tutorial, I guess, on how to do these things. It's a great little survival tool to have in your smartphone like that. So uh, it's free. It's by Columbia. I think it's on their Columbia website. It's where I got mine. So uh, check that out. I highly recommend that app. So guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. Thank you for joining uh, today. Please comment, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for some more survival top knots. And some more bushcraft knots. And that's the bowling. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the woods.